You can find them on street corners, highway barriers, or even on private property all over town. And like graffiti, they constitute a menace that casts a shadow on the government's beautification project. However, that's not the only challenge they pose. These conspicuously and strategically written job vacancy signs are indication of a thriving racket that has seen many fall victim to faceless agents who promise non-existent jobs with the aim of extortion or even worse. These people, sometimes I call them 419. Why I call 419? Somebody who doesn't have a job, who stand on the road sharing job uh, vacancy, and him himself, he doesn't have a job to do it. Many are scammers. I encountered a friend of mine last week. She was scammed of 30,000 naira concerning acting a movie. The majority of them are just there to deceive people. Okay. If you are looking for a job, wait. When the company who, who needs an employment will place it on maybe on daily mail or TV, not just on the place on the wall. We tried calling these mystery numbers, and when we got through, we were told to come to a certain location and wait for further instructions. Then we knew it had to be a scam. We decided to find out why calls for the police to step in seemed unanswered. You will see that it's not only in Lagos State you find that. And uh, as we are, we don't have anyone that has come to complain against it. So we still find it not offensive until we have complaints about that. If anyone has advertised for vacancy, I think the first step for an applicant to know to do is one to get to know them structurally. In a nation of over 170 million Nigerians, the unemployment gap is quite large, with about 22 million unemployed, according to latest reports. This makes the labor market very competitive, giving rise to a racketeer's haven. But however, human resource experts say falling victim can be avoided. Some people are even bold enough. They'll get a venue, they, they are there for you to see, and um, they'll even organize a test. But if they ask you to pay a little token, chances are it's probably a fraud. Because if a hundred of you get to pay 5,000 Naira, your money is gone. They will probably even be kind enough to tell you that you did not qualify. But it's very likely that there was no vacancy in the first place. So let's try and uh, verify the, um, the person that's trying to reach out to you because there are many ways that people can uh, try and scam you out of your money or raise your hopes in vain. The Legacy Signage and Advertising Agency saddled with the responsibility of regulating advertising within the public space and says culprits will be persecuted. It has, it has really been a huge issue for us. Right now, we're trying to put those signs up before we say space no poster. Now we're adding more to state no poster and no writing on the wall. So we'll soon be deploying a lot more of them at locations where we notice that those writing are most prevalent. So we believe first we should do an enlightenment so that when people see those signs, they know that it is wrong to do it. And after that, we're going to start a process of apprehending those who do it in conjunction with the Lagos State Tax Force. They will be prosecuted and be made to pay some penalty for the activity. We believe that this will be a major deterrent to those who engage in this unacceptable practice. To put a structure for advertisements in a public space, first you need to be registered with the agency for the practice of such, uh, for the practice of deployment of such advert structure. And to do that, there are a number of requirements. The most important of them is you must be APCON certified. APCON is the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria. It's a professional body. So it's, you go through rigorous exams and lectures where you understand the rudiments of what you need to look at. The labor market is like a jungle. And so when looking for a legitimate job, you might want to exercise some restraint and follow the proper channels so you avoid falling prey. Henry Williams. 
l'avoir place. 